everyone in this chapter we will write our refraction shader in the previous chapter we wrote our ibl reflection shader and in this chapter we will create a new shader based on the ibl reflection and add the capability of refraction as well so this is a scene that i have created and we will use this scene to visually verify our refraction shader so first thing we will do is i will go to shader dev folder I will click on IBL reflection function. I will duplicate it and rename it as refraction. And open it in mono develop. We will name it as 18th IBL refraction. And the way we have been adding two most important properties for every shader, we will add those properties in refraction as well. The first is the factor. So which is underscore refraction factor. And we will enable reflection using a keyword enum that already exists in our shader because when we created our reflection shader we already added the capability of switching from reflection to refraction or keeping the ibl mode off so in this shader we will add one extra property which is refraction factor and another which is the refractive index that we will need in our shader to change our refraction so it will be called as refractive index and the label would be refractive index and its range would be 0 to 50 we don't want to go crazy which is going beyond 50 50 is already a crazy limit but we want to cap it between 0 to 50. So these are the two properties that we will add in this shader. Then we will move towards our user defined variables. In the previous chapter or in the reflection shader we added these four properties and we will need few more properties for refraction and we will contain them in a multivariant block of code so here we will isolate the variables that are needed for both reflection and refraction from the ones that are needed only for reflection and the ones that are needed for refraction. So first let's make a list of the variables that are needed both for reflection and refraction and for that we will define if underscore ibl mode underscore refl or underscore ibl mode underscore refr and if if either it's reflection or refraction we would first need the cube map we would need the cube map in both the conditions so we would take and paste the cube map here and then if we need the detail in both the places and we will also add the uniform here it's not necessary but for the consistency we will add the uniform keyword and we will declare it as a uniform variable so these are the two variables that we would need in refraction and reflection another section we will create for reflection in this we will contain all the variables that are needed only for reflection but not for refraction so in this first we need a reflection factor because a refraction factor is its own variable that is used in refraction and reflection factor is just for reflection exposure is the property that we will need for both of them it's named as underscore reflection exposure but it's the exposure of the hdr image or the image that we are using as cube map so we could have renamed 
this variable as just the exposure so that it's understood that it is going to be used for reflection and refraction but we will leave it as it is if you want you can change it as underscore exposure in the complete shader code and now we would define a section which is used in only refraction r e f r and if and what we will need two properties that we declared here copy them and paste them here it's a uniform float refraction factor uniform float refractive index these are the three different sections we would need to contain our user defined variables now let's move to our vertex input do we have to change our vertex input no we would need only these properties from the mesh there is nothing extra that we would need for refraction in this shader and then comes the vertex output 